All right, love bugs. Uh, good evening. Take your love vitamin. I'm gonna do this message on um James, this man named James. Let's let's see what you all need to know. This man has a way about himself. I do believe this man could be uh he has a power. We we all have power, but I feel like he has misused or abused his power trying to overpower you and you not know it. Maybe you're starting to sense that. Maybe you're thinking that, but there's something, it's something your spirit is alarming you or trying to alarm you of about James. They show me the angels. Angels will forewarn, forewarn us as well as protect us. So it's like a forewarning that the spirit realm is trying to get you to pay attention to about James because I have, I keep hearing caution, caution. And I see the little triangle, the yellow triangles, the yellow triangles. And it's several of them. Cautioning you, cautioning you. Let's get this message. Let's see what y'all need to know. I had to get a nap in, y'all. I was tired. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, Holy Spirit. What they need to know. What they need to know about James. What they need to know, Holy Spirit. What they need to know about James. Reunion. There's a reunion that's getting ready to take place. Some sort of desire and doubtfulness. Okay. Some of you, I'm going to tell you right now, you're under psychic, psychic attack. Let's say that you are someone who's trying to reunite with James. There's an energy, a monitoring, monitoring energy around you or James. Or James is a monitoring energy. Spirit. Thank you. Let me break. Okay. Monitoring, a mon monitoring spirit. A monitoring spirit is a person that has been sent to you to ask you questions, to see where you're going, what you're doing. Um, it's like, like I say, babysit, like babysitting you. So either James is babysitting you or James is having you babysit to see when this union, this reunion is going to take place. If there, if it's something that you desire and to put the spirit of doubt in your mind. So a monitoring spirit it's definitely someone who does not know something trying to find out. It's only that hook and the fish. So James is fishing or he's having someone fish for him. Now, you know how somebody throws the brick and hide their hand? <clears throat> you must not be able to see the hands of James or who the person or persons are that he has sent to babysit you, but they're monitoring you. Now you know what a, if you know what a monitoring and a, a familiar spirit is. Uh, a familiar spirit is more powerful and, and on the dangerous side than a monitoring spirit because a monitoring spirit is like a person, like an informant, trying to find out. Um, what's some little people? What's the, I keep seeing those little those little people. They're yellow with glasses on. It's cartoons. But somebody here have those kind of people. S surveillance. So your life is being surveillance. Your love life. If James is your ex, then he's trying to veto, boycott. He's boycotting your love life in the spirit. You're under psychic attack. But this is a, this is a specific type of psychic attack. <clears throat> Some, somebody here, you're being blocked very strategically very strategically some of you all could be having something that's okay the holy spirit is telling me the word false <clears throat> excuse me y'all false <clears throat> a lot of false energy sent to you they're showing me a lot of fake emails messages something about this guy james is false fictitious but he has help he has a person or people monitoring you, watching you, pay attention, paying attention to you. Somebody could even be talking to you, getting close to you, observing you. Try, they're, they're trying to create slash form slash bond with you to make you feel like they are a friend. They want you to feel like they are of a kindred spirit, but they are not. This is like a false prophet. 
someone prophesying to you instead of prophesying. Thank you. Millions. Hold on. Let me let me look. Let me let me look at hold on hold on a minute so I can read it to you. If you don't like me looking these definitions up, oh well. Just fast for a love bugs. Millions. I think I'm pronouncing that minion. Hold on. Minion. A minion. A follower or underlining of a powerful person. Especially a surveil, surveil or unimportant one. James uses people. Minions. See, minions don't realize they're minions. Or millions don't realize that they're being looked upon as an unimportant person or a slave. So James has a way to use people. He's attracting these people and making them millions. Hold on, let me look this other word up. S E R V S E R V. Surveil or survive? Survive. Serval. Serval. Having or showing an excessive willingness to serve or please others. I hear that word orders again. He's giving these per these people orders. Serval. Serval people. People that serve him. I hear that the words commanding officer. It's like he's commanding people to find. Somebody here has orders in your love life. Ooh, Lord have mercy, child, I should look at this card. I didn't even see the overall energy to challenge, to make it challenging. Do you see this card? What do you see in this card? You see a bunch of snakes. I told you, you have monitoring spirits to challenge you, to make it hard. Some of you all, it could be confuse you. Others of you all, it could be, you know, all snakes are not poisonous. It could be just to bite you, to scare you. It could be... Uh, your psyche, play on your psyche, play on your mind to scare you. It's psychic attack, but this is these this per this person wants to like it's like a torture. It's torture you, but this person you don't see this person doing it. It's almost like this person is trying to create stumbling blocks to make it false prophet to make it seem like oh this you shouldn't reconnect with this person, you shouldn't talk to this person. Something here is about a false prophet. Hold on, y'all. They got to get... Hold on. Challenges, transition, and victory. Jane, either Jane is a false prophet, which, which would make this person a liar, or he's trying to, you know, have someone, like, falsify things. He's falsifying something. They keep saying false, false, false. He's falsifying something, making something false so that it makes you challenging to have a reunion for some of you all, others of you all is to, or to make others of you all is he's trying to make it challenging for you to move on, to transition, to move away from him, to pull away from him. But he's using other people, minions. What's that word again? Serval. Serval. Unimportant people. It's people that have a willingness to serve. This could be a pastor. This could be someone in the church. Someone that's under somebody's, because uh, I hear the word authority and power and influence. is someone that this person has or people that they have to monitor your life. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because they are a monitoring spirit. Monitoring your love life. Monitoring where you go. Monitoring who you talk to. It's so it can block you in every way. Look at this person in this car here. Wrapped around with all these snakes. Some of you all have a lot of monitoring spirits. Monitoring spirits come to ask you questions to get answers about you, about your life, about the direction that you're going in, about who you're dealing with, what your plans are, how you feel about something, how you feel about a person. Something is also here meant to, so something is also here to meant to trigger you, to traumatize you. If you have already been traumatized, to keep you in a trauma bond. Hold on, they're showing me a specific debt you use. Hold on a minute.
Either James is some sort of, because I'm hearing that word warlock. Either James is some sort of warlock or he, I keep hearing powerful source, powerful resources, or he has a lot of resources. It's hard to see his hand in something. Meaning it's hard to see him doing what's being done. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because he has monitoring spirits. And these monitoring spirits are trying to turn into familiar spirits. To make you feel like they're a friend. They're an associate. They're care. They're fake people though. Fake people. It, false people. False prophets. Some of y'all need to really um, itemize your life. Holy Spirit, give me more on this reunion. Dang. The death. See, somebody here is wanting to end this. Now, you know if you're with James or somebody's trying to keep you from being with James or something like that. He's trying to help you. Um, this, this this person is trying to help you end something. End it. Make it over. I, I also hear black sheep. He wants you to see him or a person as the black sheep. Three of swords. Hurt. Make you an ex. It's, 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 James wants something to be over with you and a person. The Knight of Wands. There's a player here. A person that's non-committal. Dang, the Ten of Swords. Somebody who wants you to feel like a person has betrayed you. Going to betray you. Some of you all, I don't know who you're talking to about your relationships, but you need to stop. Because you have a person in your life that is a monitoring spirit. That person is accompanying you, asking you questions to make sure that you're hurt or to make sure that you are going to get hurt. Somebody could be feeding you some information that's true or false information, but all of it is to make you hurt, to make you feel agony, to make you feel pain, to make you feel manipulated, to make you feel dumb, to make you feel like you should not, could not have. Oh, that's the dog. This is, um, this is also like mind manipulation, brainwashing. Now, this could also be what he's doing to a person that wants to come towards you. So, place the energies where they need to go. Give me, give me something on these challenges right here. The goal is to end, a, to end a reunion. To end it before it starts or before it gets started. Make you feel the hurt and pain. <clears throat> there also could be some knowledge. And the Holy Spirit keeps telling me... Um, um, I see a band, a band, I see a band, a band, I see band, B-A-N-D, band, B-A-N-D, band. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I don't, I'm not, I don't know. Band. I hear the word band. I see a band. But band is here. Could it be to band you from something? Ban you from someone? What's the three of swords? What's the three of swords? Yep. The emperor. Somebody wants to band you from this emperor, honey. Big time. This emperor, this home, this establishment, this could even be an organization. Now, this could be the minions that's doing that, which are the familiar spirits. There could be an organization or I, I hear I heard building. See, you are the target, honey. Somebody here is targeting you. James has targeted you to be banned, deemed you to be banned. He, he, this person wants you out. He wants you out. Something, something, now I'm going to tell you right now, um, on a spiritual level, he's trying to declare death over your uh, love life. Like for your love life to be dead, non-existing, a non-factor. If this is an ex, this ex is bitter. He does not want you to have happiness. He definitely does not want you to get in a relationship. Definitely no marriage. This is somebody here who has called a spiritual death on your Love life on a serious level, this person is declaring death on you physically. He's targeting you, and whoever these minions are that's helping here, helping him, these people are monitoring your life. But these people are associating with you or trying to associate with you to know your moves. But it's all a part of 
it has to be some sort of plan to block you. What's the transition here? What's the transition? I cannot tell you how hot I got this all of a sudden. My underarm is starting to sweat. The Four of Wands <clears throat> and the Page of Swords. Now, some of you are having major delays. Hold on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some of you are having major delays in your love life. This man is of the occult practices. It was the first card. The death house. The tenth, excuse me, the eighth house. That's the occult practices. Somebody, this, this, this man uses divination. If he's not the one doing it, he, he, if he's not the spellcaster, he is patronizing spiritual practitioners. These spiritual practitioners, somebody here got a bunch of monitoring people around you, paying attention to everything you do, everything you say. It could be your house. It could also be where you work, whatever establishment you have, but it's like you're being followed. You're being monitored. You're being sought after because of your ten of cups, your happiness. Somebody here, y'all, I don't know why people are so obsessed with other people's love life, <clears throat> but these people, because of this person, James, does not want this to come to pass at all. But you don't see, James is the occultist. Or he's a practitioner. What are they watching? What's the page for? A lot. The King of Swords. I hear somebody giving orders. He's giving instructions. Some, this man knows remedies. He knows remedies. He knows how to get things done. The King of Swords, the Tower card, and the Ten of Wands. This man has a lot of evil in him. A lot of evil. He's given a lot. It's like a person is a commanding officer. Or a person of high ranking. It will it it appears this person has high ranking in the spiritual world, but it's it's what the, the spiritual world that he's a part of is the underworld, like the lower parts. You know, I don't want to say hell, but I have to say the darker energies. He he's he's darker. Now I'm gonna say this just by chance, because the King of Swords can be a person that's like I cause I hear like military police. You're being policed in the spirit. You're being policed in your life. Your love life is being policed. It's like somebody wants to under arrest you. They're trying to apprehend your love life, but it's almost like you feel like it's this person, but the proof is not in the pudding. Thing for, it's, it's like uh, strange things are taking place in your life. You're having challenges. Now, someone here is doing a very, 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 very particular Thing to make you look like a person is cursed or to curse your life and this is to curse your finances for many of you all this is also to curse your um it could be health this could also be to curse if there's a uh a man and a woman that's together that could have a child be pregnant or get pregnant something is to make you barren in the spirit to ban you not to conceive somebody does not want you to conceive or birth a child this is a lot of spiritual death but some of you all this is a lot of bad uh witchcraft that's being done on your life that's causing a lot of physical things to Make, you know, make your life very havocky. Now, somebody here could be a biblical, because I'm here like biblical scholar or a learner of the Bible, because I'm hearing that whole story about Delilah and Samson, and that's all about Delilah was the distraction to find out Samson's gift, where his power was, where his strength was, to go back and tell it. So that they could cut his hair off. So someone here is trying to find a, uh, find your strong point to target it, to wear it out, to tear you down, to like ostracize you, to ban you, to kill you, to make you feel overly overwhelmed. Give up is what I'm hearing. Give up. Quit. Why James like this? What's the, what's the death card? Show me more on James. The Queen of Swords came up inverted bitterness. Okay, so you know the Queen of Swords in a, in inverted in a, um for a female is like the female doll. The B I T C H word. This person has evil in their heart for you. Why? Because they're scared. <sighs> Something else here is going on for somebody here. 
Um, somebody, this person has you in a maze. Excuse me. So, somebody, somebody else here. I hear that song, um, called Game Over, <clears throat> and I see that Pac Man. It's almost like some of y'all are figuring out where something is coming from or who something is coming from. Now, this Empress. Some of y'all must have walked away from this man. And I, I swear to God, I don't blame you for this. This mofo is evil. It's to block you from walking away, but it's to put you in the maze. This person is trying to traumatize you or re-traumatize you. It's something this person knows about your life because of the monitoring spirits where they have found something out or strength of yours. Now, let's say it's on the spiritual side, like a spiritual gift or something like that. It's like the person is turning the heat up in your life to have many people seeing bad intentions, bad energies. This is several spells. There's a lot of spells here. There's a lot, a lot of witchcraft. This is a man doing this. Now, this could be a man doing this to a woman. This could be a man doing this to a man. This could be a man doing this to a man and a woman. A woman to woman, man to man. All gen well, ain't number two genders. Both genders are here. But all of this is because of love. Now, some of you all, yeah, it could be because of a spiritual love. Others of you all, this is an ex that has pure hell in his heart for you. He's bitter and he does not want to see you move forward. He does not want to see you happy. But he he's so bitter to the point, he don't want you to have nothing. It's like he wants to break you to the core. Yeah. If I were y'all, I would start really paying attention to who I associate with. Let me tell you something about monitoring spirits. So let me just say this really quickly. Monitoring spirits are very easy to manipulate because they're liars. So when a new person comes into your life, trying to get into your personal business, lie to them. Because you have to lie to them until you can find out what their motive is. Everybody has some sort of motive of wanting to be in someone's life. There are good motives. There are bad motives. But you have to det determine and confirm what the motive is of a person being in or around your life. Because you're being babysat. You're being sought after. You're being watched. You're being observed. You're being... Depict, they're depicting you, picking you apart so that they can find out where your strength is to tear you down and make you weak and vulnerable. Some of you all, it could be something they know about you to kind of scare you because I'm hearing scare tactics. It could be scare tactics, but it's too many people here trying to trick you. So when new people come in your life, never tell a person what's really going on in your life. Lie to them. Because somebody here is trying to make themselves look familiar or make it seem like, thank you, Whitney, we we have something in common. Like y'all have something in common, but you don't. You really don't. It's just, a, it's, it's, just, it's just to find your life out. Others of you all, when it's not a new person, when you have nosy people, Sometimes you don't pick these things up right away. Talk about old stuff, the past stuff. Make it seem like it's current and going on, existing right now. That way it has no effect to your life. Because these people want to find your life out bad only to tear it apart, to tear you apart. And something is not going in the way that, it, that they want it to go because James is still here wearing a mask. Why is he wearing a mask though? It's taking too long. The Ten of Cups, or the, the, the Five of Cups, the Six of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Temperance card, dang, the Justice card and the Judgment card. Now, if you know when some, someone is trying to declare a spiritual uh, death over your life, but they're trying to call like judgment over your life, it's almost like, I, I don't know who's the good and who's the bad here. But it's like James is saying, this is a bad person, but he is going above and beyond to make you look bad or to make you look like you are the false prophet for some of you all, to make you look like you are a bad lover or your potential new person is or something like that. But it's taking too long and the spiritual judgment that this person has called looks like his rookie shit is going back to him. Yep, what I told you. See this five of wands? It's a lot of it's a lot of strife here. It's taking too long to call strife in your life. It's like the things come and they work temporary, then it phases off. It's because these are spells, these are witchcraft. And somebody is playing on the calling of your life. Nobody can call judgment in our life but God. What was what's the judgment card? Child, look at here. What I told you. 
the Ace of Swords, so that you do not see truth and clarity. It, they, and the Seven of Cups, this is confusion. When there's confusion in your life, God ain't nowhere in there. So some of you all got some false prophets, fake friends, fake associates, fake family members, you know, or fake lovers. Some, something like that. See, the, 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 it, they're trying to confuse you from this happiness. Whoever this person is that you want to be with or trying to be with, James is a big hindrance. This man has a bitter heart. He has a bitter and a very deceitful heart. You don't see it, though, because he could have, they smile in your face all the time. They want to take your place, the backstab. You can't see the backstabbing he's doing or having done to you because he has minions. What's that other word again? I, I keep forgetting how to pronounce it. Hold on. Serval. Serval. These serval people are unimportant to him. It's like he's a commanding officer and he's declaring these people, or oh, he's a great manipulator, emotional manipulator to get these people to see. Do this for me. His wrongs he's making look making look right. Because this man has declared you as some sort of enemy but the, the holy spirit is saying bounty hunter honey you being hunted that's why that's why people shouldn't use hunters in relationships when some when people say men hunt whenever somebody hunts you hunters we kill you're being hunted this person wants to kill you in the spirit this person wants to destroy you kill you it's like it's like this person is the, the enemy in your life because he wants to swift you like wheat he wants to tear your life down to the core. Now, some of y'all, it's because you won't be with him. Others of you all, he do not want you with a particular person. This person feels like it's like, you know, policing. They're giving me a lot of words that remind me of people that's, that have authority or want to have authority in your life to tell you what to do not and not not to do this don't do that don't do this don't talk to that person and it's like it, it let's say it's not relationship for some of you all it could be what you are desiring what your goals are now this could be a sweet tactic this is like a now this is what you call a destiny thief for real this is a sweet sweet tactic to use to steal people's destiny because the monitoring spirits get is their job is to get you to open up and divulge everything about your life that's important. And they're taking it back. Because they're reporting back. People are reporting back to James. But see, these millions don't know. James don't give a darn about them. Because they're unimportant. They're his slaves. They're his millions. Let's close this out with the video. Dang. Who's this right here? The King of Wands. This could be a person that's sleeping with people. This is a lot of witchcraft. This man has been cooking up a lot of mess, honey, using other people. And this is a person right here that could be sleeping with people. Somebody here does sex spells, a lot of sex spells, big time. This man is like a conjurer. He's conjuring up things. He, But he's into this stuff. He's the occultist, but he's a dark occultist. Now, when you call him a witch, he's a dark witch. I personally have a problem with the term witch because witches were the healers. But this person is a very dark seed, a very dark soul. This is a robber, a stealer, and a, 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 a killer. I keep hearing rob, kill, and steal. This person wants to rob, steal, and kill you of everything. Everything and everyone. <clears throat> See here, the last overall card is the world card. I'm going to close this out. Hopefully, this will upload tonight. Some of y'all need to go study monitoring spirits and familiar spirits. A monitoring spirit. In this, this setting, they've been sent to you. You've been a, they, you are an assignment. The assignment is to rob you, steal from you kill you it's like leave you hanging and whoever whoever james is to you you are not supposed to ever know that it's him you know oh okay thank you holy spirit this this little this little this this couple on uh 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 youtube the boyfriend put like some roaches in the bed and his girlfriend she was asleep and she felt something like moving and she jumped up screaming. And so he jumped up screaming, acting like, oh my God, oh my God, what, what is this? But he was the one that did it. 
he then he took her wallet, hid it, and was helping her look for it. This is the kind of person or oh bam, another good one. The movie Juice. When Tupac Oh Bishop. He, Tupac was Bishop. He was the killer. Was it Raheem? He killed and went right and set up in his goddamn mom in them face. And that mofo was the one who killed that boy. Him, um, the, the little chubby guy. See, he's a head honcho. Whoever James is, he's a head honcho of a lot of mess. Some of you all got different things going on. But just know, this person is calling the shots in your life. For some of y'all, it could be you and, another, you and another person. But he's calling big shots. But he's using unimportant people. But they don't think that they are unimportant. This, If there's somebody in the military, there's somebody who got soldiers. I just heard Terrence. Because that's, that's, a, that's a family member of mine. He... he He's ex-military. And his soldiers report everything back to him. But the way they used to report, like they were, you know, impressive. They think, they, they are reporting things trying to impress. Yeah, boss, we got this. Yeah, boss, we got him. Yeah, boss, we got her. He's the boss. <laughs> oh, my God. And I'm going to tell you right now, some of y'all, you have a lot of fake women. Somebody here got a lot of fake women in their life. Female associates and friends and things of that nature. But this is to take you off track. See here? I told you. Your spirit was telling you. Can you see this card? Can you see that? Intuition. Your spirit is alarming you. Because it's like, it's like, it's like, make it make sense. The math ain't mathing. The clock ain't clocking. The time ain't time. If something is off, you can't put your hand on it. It's like every time something go bad in your life, James is here to comfort you. Every time somebody falls away and you die in your life, James is here to comfort you. Every time you lose money, James is here to comfort you. Every time a person comes in your life as a relationship, they go away, but James, James is here to comfort you. He's a comp. Bam. It's like he's, he's falsified. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He's a false prophet. He is falsified because he's trying to make himself look like, see, God sent me in your life to support you. God sent me in your life to help you. But he is a God darn killer. Now, that's a sap sucker for you right there. You got darn right. He's trying to make himself look like a, the comforter. See, when Jesus died, he died and sent back the Holy Spirit to comfort us. But somebody, you got a false person in your God darn life. Every time he had it go, he's right there. You got to break down the common denominator. Now, why all of a sudden all this boom, boom, boom start happening when this person come into my life or my 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 best friend hooked me up with somebody or I went this place. It's like a domino effect. The bad things are happening. But this person, whoever James is, now this may be a James for one of y'all or two of y'all or maybe five of y'all. But some of y'all, it's a different name to this. You need to find out who the hell honcho is in your life. Go back and watch that movie Juice when Tupac was bishop. You need to find out who's a bishop. This person is trying to call themselves like a corporate in your life. They're calling spiritual judgment. Now, if this is a church setting, Somebody here is sitting under a very falsified prophet. Very false. Male or female. Because men and women. Oh, God. Men and women are in here. You know in churches, how a lot of men, the pastors, manipulate the women. See, I'm being reminded of Freddie. These are, these are minions. I think I'm using that word conduit wrong, but these are slaves. This is a, this is a pastor. This person right here is misusing and abusing the word of God. They are a false prophet. And this person... <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. God damn. That thing went from my throat. Hold on a minute, y'all. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I got hot. Oh, <clears throat> hold on. <clears throat> this pastor is sleeping with these women, or if it's men, he's sleeping with them, manipulating them emotionally. Eye for an eye, two for two for two. Somebody has a vengeful heart. So you can't see the bitterness in this person. You can't see they're, they're the queen of swords. Now, some of y'all, this could be someone you was married to. And they have a bitterness towards you. There's a middle person helping them. 
Because the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords are divorcees. They're divorced. So something you can have a divorce component to it. But this, this is definitely where, if like I said, this is, if this is a church situation going on. Somebody here is misusing and abusing their power and they're using sex and they are into spells. They, they ain't no witchcraft here. Now, this is what you call some high level goddamn witchcraft and voodoo to try to make your life turn into doo doo. Y'all, I'm so hot. Lord have mercy. I'm a fluffy little person back here. Hot today. Okay, let me end this right. Let me, let me end this right here. Yep, you got minions on you. Prey line. It just reminded me of prey line. Somebody here is dealing with a sexual predator. A pastor ain't right for somebody here. It's like this person want to see you crumble, see you fall. It's like somebody trying to bring exposure to your life, but there's nothing there. And I'm not going to say nothing. It's not what they think. Somebody, they, they're creating stories to make your life look, a, thank you, coercing. Some, they're coercing to make your life look a certain, sort, a certain type of way. There's a setup here somewhere that's not right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let me let me close this out. <clears throat> when they cut the clothes my throat up, they don't let it come out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dang. This card right here says present. Presence. Now on the card, awareness. You see how this card came out? This person don't want you to be aware. Somebody has a spit a prayer line on them. There's a man sitting in your life, honey, to make you feel like he's meant to be a good suitor, a good relationship, good sex partner. But this man right here is going, he's a reporter. He's reporting back to someone. He's reporting back to a bishop. It could be an elder. It could be a, a ex. These are X factor. Are these exes co coercing? What, what word is that y'all giving me? Cahoots. Lord. For some of y'all, this could be your exes in cahoots together to destroy you. I hear that song. This girl is on fire. You're on fire. See, see, is that, 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 that Rihanna? This girl is on fire. You on, your, your life is on fire in a good way, but these people don't like it. Something's meant to stop you. These are destiny stoppers. These are fate blockers. You, some, 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 somebody, you got, you, 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 you got false prophets in your life spiritual <clears throat> or religious people some of you all these people can be in the military it could be like your superiors my god lord have mercy i told you passion desire fun it's like when that pastor was telling preline to get me and some girls together to have sex because I renounce lesbianism. Nine of Wands. Something they know about you. But they think is a weakness in your life. And Preline was supposed to. Get me to have like group sex. Open sex. Record this and leak it. See somebody here trifling like that. But see. It's something these people know about you. But it's old. That's why. That's why I. That's. But that's why I lie. That's, that's why. That's why I lie about my life like that. You have got somebody. You. You got this baby. Look here. Everybody lie. Okay. Get over it. You got people in your life that you need to be lying to. Because you think these people are. You know. I'm your friend. They show me Chucky. I'm your friend. But Chucky about to chuck your behind. Chucky ain't no goddamn friend. Because they want, they don't, they don't want your life to go in a certain type of way. Somebody here could be like, you know, because I'm hearing fortune teller. If this person is into, if James or whoever he's with is into the occult practices, this person knows something about your life, knows it, sense it, can feel it, and this person here wants to stop your destiny. They, 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 they're blocking you. This is why you could be having a lot of havoc in your love life. When certain couples are meant to come together and be together, they have excessive spiritual warfare.
soulmate, twin flame, it don't matter. This is a lot of warfare, a lot of spiritual warfare, but this is a uh, conjured warfare. This ain't where God and God, see, God has to allow it. It's like you are Job, honey, because somebody wants you to curse God and die. That's what they want. They want you to die. Somebody wants you to die for real. They want you, they do not want you to get your butt up. They want you to curse God and die. But you won't die. I mean, it's like you, you keep, you, you keep bringing your monkey behind back. But you got preachers, teachers, but these people false in your life. Now they might be true to other people, but they're not true to you. Just so you know. Now James could be the one that they're using to lead this thing on, or it's James himself. But it's a lot of people. It's a lot of energies. A lot of spirits. I see it's showing them girls in, the, in them in them in them classes. Some of y'all could be readers. You need to cover yourself. Because you're trying to get close to you. They're trying to make you feel like you're so special. You're so flat. They're trying to flatter you. They're trying to flatter you. But now, if these are biblical people, and if y'all are biblical, you know, you need to understand the Bible. When there's flattery, there's too much. When, there, when there's too much flattery, sin is near. So you don't see the sin. You see, trying to, they're trying to pull, pull a corporate move on you, a spiritual corporate move. Now, let's say there's not you're not religious. These people are trying to make you feel like you're so special. You're so gifted. You're so powerful. But it's to take from you. There are Delilahs in your life. They are, you know, they are not only monitoring spirits. They're obstacles. But they, they're trying to get you to divulge. What do you do? How do you do this? Those um, girls from overseas <clears throat> and those, girls, those little black girls that book all those fake classes, asking all those questions. I was just lying. Somebody, you got a lot, a lot of different people. And some of y'all, it's not the same race. It's different races. Because I'm hearing Amanda's name. Amanda Soley. Maddie. Debbie. Mm. See? Oh, God. The card in my hand. Look here. The inner child. You could have been traumatized. We talked about rape in church. These people are trying to scare you. But something's meant to scare you and drive you out of your mind. It's like they want you to go delusion. They want you to go fool. Self-destruction. Self-destruct. It's to make you self-destruct. So somebody who wants to make you look not just in balance, but to self-destruct. For some of y'all, it could be for your love life. Others of you all, it's for your career. It, it, they don't want you to be stable. Somebody here really wants to tear your life down apart. Last, physical health. I heard about 25 different messages running through my head just now. Some of y'all need to check these folk out. I need to check these folk out. They, they, this, person has, this person has a spirit of death with them. And so do these, uh, what some people call it again? Thank you, minions. They have a spirit of death upon them. And every time they talk to you, every time, it, it, this, is, this is one thing we can be guilty of. <clears throat> Even when we have a PhD, um, good at playing highly dumb. When we know someone is lying, because we want to get to the motive. Sometimes it's best to cut people off, and I'm guilty of not doing that. So I don't want you to feel like you know you, you you're bad. You, you're the only one. Sometimes we just have to cut them off and just let it go, because every time you talk to a monitoring spirit, especially these type of monitoring spirits, they are laying the spirit of death on you. That's why you got so much to have it. That's why you have this right here. You see what I'm saying? For some of you all, you have obstacles in your life. You have so many challenges in your life. Obstruction, obstruction, obstruction. They're trying to obstruct your justice, your direction, and your moves because you keep talking to them. You know they're lying. It's like some of y'all could be playing that Pac-Man game back high play, and it's not good. We, when, when we feel and sense that, just let it go. Because these are, these are monitoring spirits. They all are snakes. Some of them are not poisonous, but some are. But they're, 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 they're wishing and bestowing the spirit of death on you. So some of y'all is going to cause a major spiritual transformation. You have to evolve. You will start experiencing things that are beyond this natural world. It pushes you. It pivots you more into the spiritual world, understanding it. Others of you all, it could, try, it could drive you crazy and cause you, you know, to collapse and not get back up. Cause you got pythons, and I studied pythons. <gasps> oh my god! You should go study the spirit of narcissism and a lot of mental disorders. 
because those those this those those are somebody here they don't even hear from God, honey. They just have knowledge. Mm -mm. But they're using they have a, this, somebody here has a reprobate mind. They may not even be they may not even believe in God. So that's why God can put this person something. The spiritual death that was called upon your life is being is likely getting ready to backfire and rookie shit on this person. Because somebody has a reprobate mind. They don't believe that God can touch them. They don't believe that God will, put the, will pull the wool and the covers off their eyes. And it's not a good time to be in mess anyway. Because we are getting ready to enter a different spiritual time zone. And it is time for spiritual and religious leaders that are false for the veils to come off. That's whether they in leadership or in the pulpit. I mean, in the in the um in the congregation or platforms. So be mindful. Somebody, I'm just I'm, I'm I hope this helps. Let me just let me just go. All right, you got Libra, you got Scorpio, you got um Gemini, you got Capricorn, you got Capricorn. Now ain't that something? Let me tell y'all something. Prayer line sign up here two times. This is definitely for a woman. You are being sought after by a man that you may think you know a familiar person. Praline and I had a knowing of each other. But a familiar spirit is really a monitoring spirit. See this phone call I'm getting being confirmation? This person may call end up with confirmation. You see, we could be calling you on the phone. He and I had a knowing of each other. And we also had came from out of we also came from out of the same the same church. There's something here with a church undertone to it. Like I, I something ain't right with some church people, y'all. I'm just being honest. Something ain't right here. Some of y'all, the church people are your problems. They're causing havoc in your life or doing their best to. And these people want to see you suffer immensely, but they're at the wrong. And whoever this church leader is, he or she, it's not just men, he or she, they are so emotionally manipulative and sexually manipulative. But there's also somebody here that is has a hidden spirit of perversion inside of he or she. And they're bestowing that to you. See, Prince was supposed to bring lesbian lesbianism back into my life. He was supposed to get me to open up Pandora's box. I'm not into group sex. I'm not into females anymore. I've never been enticed by the things that he was talking about. It made it turn me off. See, you're being turned off in the spirit because I see that switch going down. And you also going to be able to look in these people's eyes and see demons because you don't see them at first. because They don't show themselves like that. Because a familiar spirit, you think you know that person because familiar spirits are like, you know, friends, you know, good associates, acquaintances or family. Prilla and I have been talking for years, years. So something here is to meant to make you comfortable. You think that's why familiar spirits are typically more dangerous than monitoring spirits. See, monitoring spirits, they don't have enough sense to know not to ask something too soon, not to ask it too much. They don't know how to give you space. A monitoring spirit will always try to be under you. See, that was the first sign. I'm just helping whoever need this extra help. The rest of y'all, you got to go. Go ahead, baby. Um, that's how I knew those people and those women from YouTube were not, I always knew that from the first time I spoke to them because they wanted to be under me. And you also need to learn your life, the time zone of your life of friends, associates, and family members. See, these folk think y'all don't have a relationship with the Lord. They think you don't know nothing. And it's good. You want to keep it like that. But sometimes it's best to cut that Oh, some they they try they were trying these people trying to cut a cord with you. Some of y'all, somebody's doing some cord cutting. I might do a reading on that separate. But it's best to cut the lines of communication because that's how the enemy gets in. It's the airways. That's his territory over the phone. Then this could be someone here doing um long distance spells, witchcraft, voodoo. 
for some of y'all I'm here, that's why your hair is falling out. Others of you are, I can see your skin getting flaky, getting dry. Cause see, you got the spirit of death being sent to you on a regular. Cause the other person either on the phone, text messaging, online, they're trying to kill you. They don't want you to get ahead. They don't want you to know it's them, but it's obvious. It's too obvious. They're trying to suffocate you, python spirits. Somebody here could covert, somebody here could be a covert narcissist. Or they're knowledgeable of that and they're trying to clone themselves because everybody is not a narcissist. They will try to mimic narcissistic behaviors, but they really have mental disorders. So there's a mental disorder here that's being covered up and hidden because they're trying to look like a bully, like a narcissist. Child is about to go real deep. Let me let me let me let me let me let y'all go with this. I'm gonna let y'all I'm gonna let y'all go with this. I'm gonna see what y'all comments gonna be, and we gonna we gonna we gonna come back. But these people think they can get over on you. Be ladies and gentlemen, be careful for who you sleep with or open up to. Because some of these people that you know and know of, like how I knew or thought I knew and knew of Preline, they're sent. They're working with a corporate. They're working with the devil themselves. It's to kill you. But it, it's not it's to kill you physically. It is to kill your destiny. Oh, I about to start crying just now. It's, it's to shame you. It is to embarrass you. It is to destroy you. Some of these people are, these are, these could be couples doing this on both ends. My God. Ooh, bye, 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 Lord, let me just go, honey. Let, just leave the comments. I'm, mm-mm.